Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take Oof. it easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. And bang! Welcome back to another video. This is another Alan Wake walkthrough. Part of this will be part five of the series. We have just finished episode one, The Nightmare, and we're going to be moving on to episode two. We don't know what the Kyle, t the title, the title card of this episode quite yet, but this is going to be very exciting. We finished the last episode getting kind of a one on one with Alice and Alan's relationship three years ago. Even back then, Alice was quite afraid of the dark, and Alan was definitely her light in the dark giving this cute little story about him in the past and how he used this clicker he actually had the clicker with him so I don't know if it's believable or not the story but it seemed like it had some kind of effect regarding the darkness but but we're gonna be moving on to the present day let's try to get five likes again for this video here keeping the bar nice and low as we're just starting out but please like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this content and enjoy the video and then we're getting chased by shadow dudes that trying to kill us hmm. How do you feel, Brain Mr. Falls, Wake? Present Any day. nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Oh, that was okay. graphic. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning okay. fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that, coming from an old fisherman like Sword's bigger than the but remaster. She's right <laughs> now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer What's a What's a bass? Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. I don't know about that after what just happened recently. I don't I don't know. That seems a little uh a little too much. Oh I'm sprinting all of a sudden. Read. Read what? Oh seven. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started oh, yeah, looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end yeah. up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Uh, Verizon. <laughs> so many plugs. Energizer, Hello? Verizon. Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. Yeah, no kidding. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Mr. Wake, can I help and you I... with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Hey. Wake. You can get there. Oh, look, a thermos. Oh, this is one of the ones I found. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's oh, gas station with Thornton. There's like no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. this is Thornton. Hey. 
Look, we've located the brake float. It. It's here. That's some good ones, right? Bucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep Jeez, looking these for guys. Stuff. James out. Feels so bad. Hey, hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody I'm kill stuff you. That I for. You just a drunk. The early morning you light hurt my stupid. eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone oh, had said, Jesus. "Go through the That's fence on bright. the left." Radio. Okay, so it is the same because I. Well, oh. folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> beauty Just sleep? One more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but... It is exciting. Deer Fest. the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No nah. That's not fun. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's where it's at. Alright, dope. Right, hop over this. Hop over this. Yeah. Kick. Yeah, I am Bruce Lee. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried. Triple D's. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at Lowe's. the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. What the hell? That was weird. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Struggling. Yeah, I just, I'm just gonna take a police car real quick. This dummy slipping. The writer is a light oh, that reveals geez. the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, mm. hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. That looks, that sounds stressful. Whatever Alan's going through in this moment, sounds stressful. To settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. Are you feeling any better, Can't Mr. Walk past them. I'd like to leave. Looking to walk past Am them. I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic so is known so for aggressive. Approaches. The cabins at Elderwood so are passive aggressive. Nice that sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Oof. Take it easy! Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, <laughs> Barry. you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. This is opportunity. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Yeah, no kidding. I thought for sure he was gonna get locked I up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard of the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, mm -hmm. even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. 
I had a midnight Come appointment on. with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood the National Lover's Park. Peak. The plan what was to rent name. a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, sure. Mr. Wake. Later. Oh, look at look at this Max. guy being a stud. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful not when creepy. I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Yeah, dude. Are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Come on, Barry. Listen to your man. Man with the plan. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Yeah, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry oh, about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Bucktooth Charlie. Seriously, Al, you Buck can't just go Charlie. and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, man. and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? Yeah, dude. No, this whole thing. It... Listen. You hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there That's real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Not funny. She's missing, bro. This is no bueno. No bueno. I think this is the form you yeah, wanted. Yeah, that down right and there. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? <laughs> oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Ooh. Okay, so... If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Hmm... Below the radio mask, gotcha. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight mm -hmm. at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Man, I'm really having a heart to heart, that's for sure. Oh, oops. Oh, okay. Definitely didn't finish that conversation the first time around. This is crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a goddamn Wait, debate. What did that lamp do, <laughs> Evie? I'm going to Lover's Peak. Is the lamp he alone? He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, uh. call the cavalry. Well, that dude's mouth being wide <laughs> open. <laughs> 
just got a whole lot more serious in this episode. This uh, stranger giving us a call, basically predicting exactly what we're doing and giving us the license of Alice. Man, I really feel for Alan and hopefully he's able to find her. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel as that is a big thumbs up from me. Until next time, take care.